Hello, welcome to Brian's Budget Garage. Today we're replacing headlights. If you look, this headlight, not so good. This headlight, on the other hand, we've replaced much better. So a lot of old cars, because of the sun, actually end up looking like this. So the cost of replacement of these for the Crown Victoria was about around $50 if you buy them on eBay. So what we're going to do is go through today on how to replace them. We're also replacing the light bulbs uh, with some more intense light bulbs. So the first thing we have to do is replace, is remove this piece of plastic. This, this piece of plastic covers where you have to get to for the lights. Okay, the, how you do that is remove, untwist these round knobs and then they pull out. So you first untwist them, which loosens them, and then you pull them out. Same with this side. Unscrew and then pull. Okay, then you can actually remove the large plastic thing by wiggling it around and then set it back here. So now we have to remove this clip and this clip. These clips slide up and then the whole light slides out. Okay. The easiest way I've found is to take a big screwdriver. And by the way, be careful when this big screwdriver. That's ground, that's positive. Make sure your positive terminal is covered and you don't short out. So you take your big screwdriver and you slide the clip up until it pops. Okay, when it pops, the slip comes out like that. Same with this clip. Okay, and you slide. Sometimes they're sticky if they've been a while. These are original, so they've been here for nine years. Okay. So now you can actually push on the back and the whole the whole light assembly comes out. Okay, now we've got to disconnect this light and this light to actually remove the actual plastic panel. So there's little plastic things which in this case are all pretty worn out. So this just pulls off. And then this one you actually have to twist to get out. Okay. Now you actually have your whole old piece of plastic which you're going to get rid of. All right, now what we're going to do is measure the distance between this slot and the very edge of this thing. And we're going to make the edge of this slot the exact same distance. All of these have to be adjusted so that the, when you put this new one in, it's in the exact same alignment as this one. There's three mount points that it rocks on. Okay, so this mount point, this mount point, and this mount point is what holds the whole unit in. Adjusting those makes it go up, down, sideways. It's a three position mount, okay? Somewhat like a tripod. So let's, what we're going to do is measure from that notch all the way to the back edge. If you look, it says two inches. Okay, so we need to make sure that this notch is two inches off also. If you notice, it's about an eighth of an inch off, so it needs to come out an eighth of an inch. So to adjust that, you turn, but if you notice, the whole screw is turning, so that doesn't work. So you must hold the screw with your vice grips. Adjust them and make sure the screw doesn't turn. So now we're right at two inches. We'll recheck this. Right at two inches. So almost exactly the same. And then you're going to do the same thing for this and this. And this. So this one will be the same length. That one will be the same length as that. And all three of these should be exactly the same length to this back rim. You don't know what they've done over here, but this back rim has to match the car. So. Now we have this set to go in. All three of these mounts should be about where the other one is. So when we put this in, it should be about lined up. We might have to do some adjustments later. So the first thing you're going to have to do is take all these wires and shove them through the holes to make sure they're behind where they go. Okay. Then we'll actually put the clips back on. So because I'm changing the lights, these new Xenon lights have this transformer 
and all this wire that has to be shoved through the hole in there you no longer have just a light bulb so where the light bulb would normally plug in it has this blue connector the rest of this has to go back and actually be mounted somewhere uh, then you also have your blinker light that still has to go in so the first thing we're going to do is underneath the current wires we want to shove this information we need still need the plug out here so we don't want to lose the plug That one looks like it has a new enough bulb, I'm not going to replace it. No reason to replace bulbs when they're good. And then again, got to get this to the right place. Slide in and then twist to lock. And that locks in the blinker. Now we have this new blue connector which has to plug in where the old light bulb plugged in. Which is this connector. Make sure it snaps in good. Make sure these two things go down. Okay. Now as we shove this in, all four of these, all three of these mounts have to go into this hole, this hole, and that hole. So we need to align these mounts to those holes. This is really the hardest part of actually getting this in. To do, so to do this, we have to continue to push wires out the back side because there's not enough room to have all these wires in here and as we push it in we're going to try to line up these posts to those holes okay the first thing i want to before we actually put things in these clamps get a little bit rusty and they get they don't slide very well so you put a little bit of wd-40 on them and wipe them down with a rag to make sure everything slides nicely and isn't fighting that corrosion. So I put a little WD-40 on there, take the rag, wipe them down. That will help you get them in later. All right. These are the clips, of course, that hold the lights in. Same with this one. Again, just a little bit of WD-40. You can, if you'll notice, there will be a little bit of rust on these. So you'll find out that it's really worthwhile to do it this way because Without it, it will fight you. And this way, things should slide in much easier. Shouldn't be all that corrosion to fight. So, what we needed to do is make sure these, this, that, and this all go through the hole far enough. Now, to get them in the hole, a lot of times you have to wiggle things. Move them around to make sure that they are lined up. And they have to come out to where you actually see the notch. Okay, so if you notice, there's a notch. You can see the notch here now, right down there on that post. What we're going to do is take this thing, again, put it over the hole, we're going to slide it and make sure that the clip is all the way against it. That one's in. The other one's the same way. We have to make sure that it's far enough in, so sometimes you got to push a little hard because they don't want to line up sometimes. In fact, sometimes you have to take your big screwdriver make sure things are lining up correctly move them around a little bit so that so that they will go in the holes correctly sometimes it helps to take a big screwdriver put it on the notch flex it out a bit now we'll take this clip same thing you put it one in each hole put it up against make sure it's against and you should be able to slide this down shouldn't take more than two thumbs worth and there you're in now the actual now the, the actual light is actually installed okay the only thing I left is because I'm changing these light bulbs I have these transformers there's something I got to do with I'm going to zip tie them to my frame here to keep them from getting damaged so you got to do something with them we're going to zip tie them to right here, keep them, keep them out of the way. Uh, we're done with our installation, and if you look down here, then this, these, transform, these xenon lights need extra transformers. They run on 8,000 volts, so you need to actually have the transformer tied up so it doesn't move. There's also a couple boxes you don't want moving. 
Also, your wires down here. I have a, I've used a zip tie to cradle them up. You don't want them sitting in the water. There's 8,000 volts on those. So you want to be careful what you're doing here. Make sure you're, no, there's not any wires moving. They're all tied up. Okay. Then what you're going to do is, is actually put your plastic piece back in. Turn it around, make sure it's actually in. Make sure this little ledge is right here. And it's back down where it needs to be. Then we'll go ahead and put those. Then we need to put in there these little things to tie it down so it doesn't rattle so bad. Now, because I use some of these for places for the things, it's not going to be quite as tight, but it'll be good enough. So now we've actually installed our brand new lights. They're clear. They should be brighter. But I've never used these xenon lights before, so I'm going to actually keep these spare light bulbs in the car just in case one of these lights, xenon lights go out. Last thing you want to do is miss a light bulb. But other than that, that's basically how you install a brand new set of lenses and light bulbs. Thanks for watching.